that spring came unusually early this year. Because we have this one thing that happens every year. That comes as a true sign that winter is finally letting go and spring is arriving. I call it Vårfloden in Swedish, which means the river of spring. As the snow begins to melt really quickly, it forms into a river that goes straight through the village. And it only lasts for a couple of days, or up to a week or two, depending on how much snow we have. Usually this happens around the end of April, but this year it came a whole month early. And of course, I couldn't be happier. Every year when this happens, I feel this indescribable joy and happiness. It's like the highlight of the spring to me. And I can spend hours outside by the river. I like to imagine that I help melting the snow and that I help the water to flow better. And it's just so wonderful to hear the sound of the water outside our house in the evenings. It really feels like everything comes to life again. Both in nature, but also in myself. It's like it's been in a deep sleep for a long time. And now I wake up and it's like I feel everything so intense. Yeah, it just feels like I'm in love with life, with nature and everything around me. It's just such a beautiful, wonderful feeling. And it feels the same every spring. Well, it actually feels even more intense for every new spring that I get to experience. It's like I just came to this earth and I feel this deep wonder for the beauty around me and a deep gratitude for being alive. But of course, April is the most dirty and muddy time of the year. And it's actually not so beautiful outside at this time. And if you have a dog, it's gonna get so dirty inside after every walk. But even if it looks like a mess outside, it feels beautiful. It just feels so special to finally see the ground and the grass and the earth again after so many months with snow. And to just touch the soil again. I've missed it so much. So this week, apart from helping the snow to melt, I've also spent most of the time in the smithy with you one. As many of you know, we have been working very much with the jewelry making lately. It's been long days and long nights and it's definitely been challenging for us both to go through so much work. Sometimes it just felt like we would never get done and that we would be stuck in the smithy forever. Both me and Johan are very passionate about our work. And when we have a very strong goal and a strong feeling of what we want to do, there's just no stopping us. We are not afraid of working really hard as long as we feel passion for it and feel that it's meaningful. But already now it feels a lot easier since we begin to see an end of these intense months with so much work. 
We are soon done designing our new collection and we have some really exciting plans and visions for the future regarding our new remaking. So all this hard work has definitely been worth it. And now it's only one and a half month left until we move to our new house and get some more space. Then we don't need to have the smithy in our living room anymore. More space will make everything so much easier for us. More space. <laughs> The early spring came as a big, wonderful surprise when I needed it the most. Another thing that I love with spring is that you finally get to work with plants again. So I have spent some evenings out in the old barn to put a lot of different seeds in the soil that hopefully will grow into beautiful plants and flowers in the summer. I have always loved gardening, but now as we're gonna get the new house and the beautiful garden, it feels like a whole new level. So I have read a lot now to really get the knowledge on what plants would be perfect for our garden. And I have focused mostly on herbs and medical plants and also flowers that are really good for butterflies and bees. Because yes, we have decided to start with beekeeping and have our own bees. And that is something I have dreamt about for so many years. But now, as we're gonna have our very own house and this beautiful garden, it feels like a perfect timing. Bees are actually so important for our planet. And I really look forward to make a paradise for them in our garden. Since we're gonna move in a couple of weeks, it is a mess in our house right now. So it's been so difficult to find a place for all these plants. I only have this one window for them, so they have to share the little glimpses of sunlight that reaches in every day. I know it's not the perfect condition for some of the plants. And I've told them that I will probably have a rough start. But if they just manage to grow into life and keep holding on these weeks, I promise I will give them the dream life of any plant. Soon we will move and there will be plenty of space for all of us to grow. I just love to finally be able to walk freely in the forest again without the meters of snow. And just to see all the colors again, the colors of green and yellow, it's just as if I see them for the very first time. And soon, as the frozen ground has melted, I can begin to tap birch sap, which is also one of the highlights movements of the spring. It's an old myth here that says that drinking birch sap is a way of regaining all your energy after a long cold winter. And I definitely believe in that, so in May I always drink birch sap every day. I can't wait to make a video to show you how I do when I tap birch sap.
So the spring has just begun. We have all this wonderful time ahead of us. And I so much look forward to experience another spring and summer. And I also look forward to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video.